You got the pirate and the princess. I'm the pirate. <laughs> Too early. She needs more coffee. Needs more coffee. All right. Time is it? I'm gonna wait eight hours. You know. We ain't never up this early. <laughs> I wanted to beat the 30 mile an hour winds they were talking about. This is what Navy Pier looks like from the water. Doesn't look like there's anyone else in there. We are officially off Lake Michigan. We are. Yeah. Dropping the flagpole. It's 7 a.m. Look behind me here. Oh, we're going in. If we ain't out in three days, come get us. <laughs> Got the princess? Good morning. Good morning, Chicago. Good morning, Chicago. Woohoo! I feel like that girl. <laughs> no, okay. She looks like that girl. So here we go, man. We're driving right into the heart of the city. It's an amazing life we get to live. And you guys are all amazing, especially that one. <laughs> First bridge, 20 foot clearance, clearance. We had to take the flagpole down. We got 57 bridges, so I won't be putting the flagpole back up. This is incredible. Hey, there's Trump Tower right in front of us. Look at that. You guys 
zoom in on that one. There's the trunk tower. Man, that's a pretty one. This is the Moon Schooner, officially cruising in through Chicago, headed directly toward the Trump Plaza. And uh, there's a brand new one going up right there. It's incredible how big these things are. Remember all balconies right through the middle going up on this side, the lines that you see, all balconies. There's my princess. How cool it is. I mean, the whole river is blocked by that plaza. <laughs> Jeez, this guy. He sure does like to be seen, doesn't he? <laughs> all right, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm pretty happy about seeing that. Jetson Towers from the water. So cool. Good morning. <laughs> this is so cool. I can only imagine it to be kind of like being in, you know, Florence, Italy or something like that where all the gondolas are and everything. I mean, the whole city is built right here on the water. And you got sea walls and architecture and structures and bleachers. And look at the stairs over here, a mile wide. There's just all kind of wonderful things here to see. If you ever are going to do a loop or a half a loop, you definitely want to do the Chicago part. If you go into Hammond, I know there's some bridge height plans here and stuff like that that you've got to look out for. Um, but uh, if you can make it down through this area, you definitely got to see this. It's absolutely incredible. Float right between all these towers like this. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Looking at the brown brick, and it kind of looks like the Encyclopedia Britannica, right? Maybe that's where they make them. the bridges that opens up. You can see some of the gear works underneath sometimes. Kind of creepy to go under bridges that people can drop stuff through. up with that and it not tip over. And ain't they ever seen somebody fell a tree before? <laughs> they drop it at the bottom, don't they? I don't have a fear of being eaten by a shark. I have a fear of being killed by a crane. <laughs> Even if I don't intend on ever being underneath. Nowhere now. 
<laughs> now it's art. Look at how wharfy this little That's cool, yeah. place is. I like it. Got the Very balconies. Cool. <laughs> I love this spiral staircase. That's awesome. It smells good too. It smells like um yeah, bakery. Look at the chains on those. That's, I, mean, I love the chain. Okay, it looks like it's getting boring this way now. Yeah. There's so much going on in the city. building. Holy crap. We're right under it. There's my castle. Right over here to the right. Oh yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Hey babe, tell us about the summer of George. <laughs> you got the summer of George on that video? One day on this houseboat, long time ago. That was before you and I were married, right? So it had to be 19 or 2002 maybe, the summer of 2002 was the summer of George. I was single had a uh, two boys and a buddy come up from Detroit. He was a heck of a mechanic and he worked out all my stuff, all my motorcycles and everything. I took him out on the boat with me every weekend. As long as I bought him some beer and cigarettes, he kept all my stuff fixed. Cleaned the boat, I didn't have to clean anything. He did all the dishes, all the sleeping, mopping. I called it the summer of George. 
<laughs> it was absolutely awesome. He's since passed on, so God rest his soul up in heaven. And yeah. uh, what a great memory of what him a today. Great, great memory right there. The summer of George. It's on the back of the boat too. Is it? There you go. What Thanks for the memory. memory. <laughs> Leaving the city behind. Love what we're doing, love where we're going. We got 58 miles to our next stop, Jolia, Illinois. Here we come.